Silica is a not essential element, but it's what we call a beneficial element. And therefore, we can actually increase the strength of the cells applying the silica. Give us top three reasons why farmers and growers should use silica. The top three reasons they should use silica is that it increases the cell strength. Therefore, the plant is tougher and doesn't break as easy. It also does the same thing for the fruit, has a longer shelf life now. In addition to that, it increases the resistance of the plant to not only insect pressures, but also drought stress. So it allows the plant to become more rigid and basically hang on to that water in a better fashion than without the silica. Gotcha. Is silica widely used in the industry right now? I would say no, it's not widely used. One of the very interesting things about silica is just very low doses are more beneficial than too high of a dose. Most folks that have tried it have applied it at too high a rate and actually seen detrimental effects whereas we're applying it at these much more microscopic rates. Oftentimes, it's really figuring out what are the application doses and when do they apply it and how often that are gonna maximize its beneficial use. So let's say I'm a farmer. I really want to use silica. Is experimentation the only way for me to know what the right dosage is for my crop? Well, the best way would be to actually do controlled experiments like we're doing in here, where we can control all the variables and then just change one item. That would be the silica concentration or the application rate. So another thing I should say is, you know, you can apply silica as a soil drench. You can apply it to the foliage. All of that has then a different penetration potential into the plant that would help or not help the plant. So figuring out all of those different kinds of concentrations and where to apply them and how much benefit you get is the kind of things that we can decipher in this type of a setting. Gotcha.